This week I covered a story about Federal Express drivers who cover their license plates to beat speed cameras using those We Missed You stickers. So we received a tip from a retired detective who noticed the FedEx trucks in his neighborhood all had stickers over parts of their plates. I arrived at the first uh, FedEx lot. I coordinated with my photographer and we set up a little stakeout. So a reporter's stakeout is very similar to a police detective's stakeout. Very similar to probably to what most people have seen in movies. You lay low, you try to blend in with your scenery. We sat across the street in the bus stop the reason we sat in the bus stop is because nobody pays attention to people sitting in a bus stop. So we just laid low and I sat there with my pad next to me and I recorded every plate that came out. It was over half the trucks that were coming out that morning had obscured plates. Some of the trucks I actually had to follow because they came out of the lot so fast that neither I nor my photographer were able to take a picture of their plate. I was forced to run jump in my car, Duke's Hazard style, and take off after FedEx trucks on high-speed chases through Brooklyn at not legal speeds. They were routinely driving 48 miles an hour in 25 mile an hour zones, going through red lights. I followed one truck that went through three red lights. And then the next step is you have to front up the subject. So we had to front up the drivers. We had to go to them and ask them, why are you covering your plates with these stickers? And he pretended not to speak English. You don't know about the sticker right here. You don't see that. What is that? That's covering your license plate so that the cameras can't, um, can't make it. Oh, so, but you didn't know that was there, huh? He actually called other drivers to come and help him kind of get me out of the area. They approached me. Um, they basically tried to bluff me, scare me away, make it look like they were gonna, you know, fight me or something, but they didn't. It's kind of like uh, dealing with bullies as a child. You quickly find out that if you, you show them that you have no fear at all and that you're here doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing, most of the time they just shy away. So in this particular story, what I learned was that these guys came up with a pretty good uh, hack. This was the first time I had ever heard of anyone using work supplies to obscure their plate to get around red light tickets and speeding tickets and do it in such a clever way and such kind of a funny way, if you think about it. They were using stickers that said, sorry, we missed you and putting them on the plates. I thought that was quite funny. So at this point, the, really, the, the update would be, what happened to these drivers? Did FedEx cancel them? And that's currently in the works. We don't know yet. So we're going to have to go back and see where the chips fell on this one. Who lost their job? Who changed their habits? Who stayed? How this basically shook out, that's yet to be determined. What it means to me is finding out the truth. I really liked James Bond movies as a kid. And to me, if you think about it, what James Bond always was, was a detective. He was, he was in a very, very dangerous environment, but he was always trying to uncover what was really going on, get to the heart of it, find out who the bad guy is. I think that probably had the biggest influence on me. I always wanted to be the guy who went in up against forces that he should know, you know, have no chance against, find out what's really going on and bring it to light.